And now, our feature presentation. Five travelers were discovered within the boundary. Kill them or send them away. You said you didn't seek your own time like the others. I am seeking better. Lost in the Devil's Triangle, trapped in a dimension with beings from the future and from other worlds, a party of adventurers journeys through zones of time back to their own time. Larian, a man from the 23rd century, possessing awesome powers. From 1977, Fred, a young doctor just out of medical school. Scott Jordan, the 13-year-old son of a famous scientist. Liana, daughter of an Atlantean father and an extraterrestrial mother. And Jonathan Willoway, rebel scientist from the 1960s. Together, they face the frightening unknown on The Fantastic Journey. this dimension. Nothing ever is. What I mean is it's not from your planet. What do you mean it's not from Earth? What about those men? Also, not from Earth. <laughs> Peaceful. Tarrant will decide. Follow the others. Now you see here, you have no right to... Follow the others. That is 
his new Matera. Does our technology impress you? Move along. What is that to us? My father, Lara. One of them might know medicine. Perhaps, Nikki. Two solar cycles. We march. The campaigns begin. And look at me. The best of my calling. <sighs> Dismissed. Lieutenant Argon, sir. You are recognized, Argon. Five travelers were discovered within the boundary. Kill them or send them away. We have no time. I brought them here for your review. Come in, please. Fires are replenished and that they are escorted safely to the boundaries of the next time zone. We appreciate that. Good journey to you. Before you leave, is there a physician among you? Counsel Lara, the travelers are anxious to be gone. I'm a doctor and Varian's a gifted healer. Madam, who is ill? Someone dear to you? Someone dear to all Materans. Luther, our major counsel, is dying despite all our efforts. Well, if you're springing four supplies for us, seems like we ought to return the favor. I'm afraid Counsel Luther is beyond mortal help. He's not dead yet, Counsel Tarrant. Nikki, we know how you feel. But you are old enough to face the truth about your father. Well, thank you for your sympathies. I'm sure you'd be grieved at my father's death and unhappy to become major counsel. Will you see him? Gladly. You got it. But we would be in your debt. Please, come with me. I'm Nick. I'm Scott. Come on, let's go. We will uh, arrange quarters for you. Meanwhile, make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> reminding the troops that he still lives. <laughs> we'll devise a special punishment for you. To teach you to stay where you belong. Take him to his cage. If he burrows out again, you may expect to be made very unhappy. <laughs> The Nephrine seemed to like you. If it possessed judgment, I would admire its taste. Why do you mistreat that creature? It's a Nephrine. Its time is almost ended. It's a being. No better than the canines which roam the earth. Major councils keep them as symbols of their power, as Luther did with that one. On Earth, the Egyptian kings of antiquity kept cheetahs for the same reason. Luther has spoiled the animal beyond all reclamation. Nicky, the boy, wanted to give it a name. <laughs> what do you call a nephrine? It's a nephrine. What he calls himself 
Sounded like Olava. And magic wand of yours given any answers? This physiognomy is related to ours. But there are very strong differences. Oh, his pulse is threading. His breathing is so shallow. I sure would like to run a check on his blood gases. I'm gonna have to take a blood sample. Figure out how to use one of the microscopes or something. We'll compare findings in the lab. Depart quickly. Take Nikki with you. I will not live much longer. Nikki's life is worth nothing if you abandon him to Tennant's mercy. Please, please take Nikki and set out now. And these are my quarters. Oh, neat. Is this like the one you and your father traveled in? Yeah. And I would have loved to have seen the real one. Yeah, we were hovering over Earth when we were caught in a strange storm and crashed. The ship is the Alpha, too. It's the most advanced model we've been able to come up with. It carried the modules out of which new Matera was built. Yeah, it must have been a huge spaceship. And this is our planet, Matera. The Neferings lived here, on these mountains. Yeah, these time zones. You're for my future. In another planet besides. It gets confusing sometimes. My father could explain it mathematically, but I could never grasp it. Here, this is the sector we live in. Lived in. You miss your home too, don't you? My mother's there. But we're so far away. Both my parents are home also. Sometimes I think the way you think, that I'll never see him again. When you last saw them, was there love between you? Yes, very much. When I was with my mother last, we had angry words. Some small thing she wanted me to do, I didn't want to do it. I left her with angry words. Now we're so far away. Any success? The laboratory work will take time. <sighs> now, don't go counting Luther out. My friends are very competent. And their fees are very reasonable. That's better. A woman as beautiful as you should wear only smiles. So why so sad? I'm sad for the reason many Materans are sad. Upon Luther's death, Tarrant will begin his march east. March? Oh, oh, the march back through the zones to try and find your own place and time. But why should that possibly make you sad? Because we will not march home. We will march into war. The Materans want war. Tarrant wants war. Why? For power, for what he considers glory. Can Tarrant do this? He controls the arsenal and the troops. No one would dare oppose him. Even now, he has the army somewhere along the boundaries, only awaiting his order to attack. He will storm through the zones, territorializing them each in turn. It never seems to change, not even here. 
I don't understand. Oh, in my own time, my own planet, we had the same thing, the territorializers, the destroyers. If I could only find where the armies were, I could reason with them in Luther's name. Tarrant has them convinced Luther's dead already. Then all we need to do is find out where the armies are. Tarrant keeps that information to himself. Lara, if I could find a way to give you this information, would you promise never to frown again? How would you do that? Where I come from, we have a saying that seems to fit this occasion. It takes a thief to catch a thief. I don't understand. You don't have to. All you have to know is that I am going to find out where that army is billeted. You would do this because you hate the Terrans of all the world? And because I've always loved beautiful ladies. Smiling. Can move, Argan. Not only would you have my men fight with weapons that are not there, but with weapons that are not assembled. We are well ahead of schedule, Consul Terrence. For Luther, you would be ahead of schedule, not for me. Your security is almost on a par with your efficiency. Consul Tarrant, this is a restricted area. You must leave immediately. I know, I know. I shouldn't be here, but I couldn't resist it. Your arsenal is... Look, I have no time, so please. That's magnification on that. That's an 11 to 5 parameter, isn't it? Actually, 12 to 5. Ooh. Having to kill radius of... a thousand yards. Exactly. How do you know so much about our weapons? Oh, I'm a scientist. Uh, weapon development was my specialty. Of course, in my time, we never had anything as sophisticated as this. But we did have something called a laser. It concentrated light through a ruby. Actually. This uses crystals. Focuses the sun's energy. Well, that's just a hand model. Why do personnel use? You know, if you had a larger... We have larger take out a whole mountain. At least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's marvelous. I love it! <laughs> oh, I mean, the best we had was a bomb based on a thermonuclear principle. I mean, it was capable of wiping out entire cities. It did so on a couple of occasions. And you had something to do with the development of that? I do not like to take the full credit. I like to remember the little people. Hmm. Well, you are different from the others. Well, they are an idealistic group. I recognize uh, the realities of power and its usefulness in the proper hands. Yes, so few understand that. Hmm. Look, Argon, and learn. This man is not even one of us, yet he knows more about our weapons than even you. Many men know how to make a weapon fire. Few are brave enough to enter the battle and kill with it. <laughs> You're making my second in command jealous. Oh, no, 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 that's good. It'll make him more alert. Oh, look, um, they you must be very busy. I... No, no, no. A man with your background would appreciate this. Come with me. I hope I'm wrong. Come on. The weapons they will be using can be adjusted to merely stun the enemy for capture or to incinerate him.
You've revived the stun hunt. If the core is to maintain its fettle, it must occasionally be bloody. Luther has forbidden it. Luther is gravely ill. Luther will not be with us much longer. You think I don't know? You show the men your contempt for Luther by abusing his pet. Why such emotion? It'll be uh, a small divertissement for our guests. they can come to the target without making a hit. And somehow I've got to help the poor thing. I understand, Leona. Somehow I've got to help him. How can you treat a living thing like that? Now, see here. We are the guests of the Council. I think it behooves us to act accordingly. That was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And you're defending it? It's not to the point whether I defend it. I should think that a man of your learning would understand the necessity of such an exercise. Necessity? The torture of that being? A necessity? Speaking objectively, for purposes of reinforcing military discipline, it was necessary and most useful. Willoway, was I mistaken about you? Oh, Consul, you simply must forgive my friends. They simply do not understand the requirements of military command. Yes, the burdens are great. But someone must accept them. From what I can see, you were born to it.
a lot of anephrine in a cage below the city. I'm going to him. Please, be careful. Okay, Salel knows the way. Nothing. Nothing I can see. You better start giving some serious thought to breaking out your kind of magic, partner. Sonic Energizer? Right. No, no, no. It's too dangerous. Yeah, well, this cure him or kill him time, and the bottom line is we're down to it. I mean, Luther is sinking fast, and I'm just not doing much good. His wounds are healing and wants me to thank Varian for saving his life. <laughs> he thanks Varian? Yes, you see, Scott, because Olaga is an intelligent being, he understands the idea of thanks and knows everything we say. Well, why is he so sad? for his family and his own kind. He also grieves for Luther, who in his own way was very nice to him. Well, I sure hope Barry and Fred can help him. Nicky says that if his father dies, Terrence's gonna take over. Calm down, Alaka. Shh, calm down. We're not gonna let anyone hurt you now. Stare at these slides until I'm blind. Still come up with more questions than answers. The biggest question of them all is why didn't we just leave Willoway where we found him? Turkey's always talking about finding a better world, and then at the first opportunity, he jumps on the side of the guy with the biggest stick. I know. This afternoon, I condemned him. But then I realized that Tarrant contradicts everything Willoway believes in. So? So, just maybe things aren't quite what they seem. Yeah, well, I hope you're right. He's playing around with our necks. Do you say that the zone to the west, that only a rudimentary people occupy the land? Children. A society of children. Hmm. They detest adults, can you imagine? <laughs> and uh, westward of that? Oh, a peaceful lot. No ambition whatsoever. I lived among them for a time. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Oh, oh, oh. And the zone before that. I only know about them from what I was told by my companions. Inhabited by a most advanced people. A wondrous city full of wondrous things. That's how they described it. Hmm. Wondrous. Powerful, no doubt. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, the Atlanteans are a peaceful lot also. I mean, you could crush them like bugs. When do you march? What? What a, a strange thing to say. Well, <clears throat> you've been pumping me for information about the other zones now. Uh, your interest isn't entirely academic. Well, it's wise to 
gather intelligence about any potential enemy. We uh, must maintain a defensive capability. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. I haven't noticed any of your corpsmen in the city. The main body of the corps is away on training exercises. Your training fascinates me. You do it in the mountains or the lowlands or... The exact location of the core is kept a secret. Oh, of course. All the better to, um... maintain your defensive capability? <laughs> you are an interesting man, Willoway. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you said you didn't seek your own time like the others. No. I am seeking better. My own time rejected me. They called me a fool. I am, um, as you may say, uh, available for opportunity. An ambitious man. I like that. <laughs> hey, 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 look at this. Find something? I don't know, you tell me. I've never examined a moon man before, and I sure have never seen anything like this. See, the cells are acting erratically. If I had to put a name to it, I'd call it leukemia, or something like it anyway, only different, you know? See what I mean? Something is out of whack, and I can't put my finger on it. These leukocytes are artificial. These invading cells aren't even his. Well, that's not possible, is it? No, it's not. There's no way he could contract this disease. And there's no way his body could produce it. Then how did he get it? Murder. Luther came down with the sickness as we traveled to Earth. After the medical officer ordered a routine nutrient injection for him. The medical officer was Terrence's brother. You're accusing Tarrant of murder? Tarrant would do anything to become major counsel. Tarrant is a madman, possessed with a dream of a, of a mad conquest. The soldiers believe Tarrant because he tells them he speaks for Luther. He only awaits Luther's death. That's why you have to help us. Of course, we're, we're doing everything we can to help Luther. But beyond that, we, we raise one finger here and Tarrant can chop it off with nobody to say boo. You must understand. We're outsiders here. We cannot and we should not become involved in these affairs. I think you're already involved. The one called Willoway? Oh, please, please, don't lump us in the same bag with him. You don't trust him? What about Willoway? He said that he would find out the location of the armies that Tarrant is massing for the attack. Willoway said that? In his manner with Tarrant today, he made me believe he lied to me. How did Willoway say he was going to do this? Do you understand it takes a thief to catch a thief? <laughs> Will Willoway said that? <laughs> Larry, yes. I think you can trust Willoway. You mean Willoway pretends to relate to Tarrant so that he can gain the location of our corps? That's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> You see, if I can find a whereabouts of the core, I, I can go to them with Luther's words. So all your hopes are pinned on Willoway. I cannot imagine Willoway as 007 Super Spy. <laughs> Physicians have discovered the nature of Luther's illness. Well, that certainly is good news. Yes. I thought you'd like to hear about it in their own words. Oh! Your word is good enough for me. I think this will interest you. I'm certainly interested in it. Luther came down with the sickness as we traveled to Earth. 
After the medical officer ordered... Council Lara. I had hoped she would be an ally, even reign by my side. She said the thought turned her cold. Perhaps soon she'll warm. Of course, we're, we're doing everything we can to help them. But beyond that... We, we raise can... one finger here and Tarek can chop it off with nobody to say boo. He made me believe he lied to me. How did Willoway say... Politics. Oh. Men of vision are so often misunderstood. You're accusing Tarek of murder? Tarrant would do anything to become major counsel. Tarrant is a madman, possessed with a dream of a mad conquest. We're outsiders here. We cannot, we should not become involved in these affairs. I think you're already involved. The one called Willoway? Oh, please, please, don't lump us in the same bag with him. You don't Who trust are him? these mad people? What about Willoway? He said that he would find out the location of the armies that Tarrant is massing for the attack. Willoway said that? Willoway pretends to relate to Tarrant so that he can gain the location of our core? Consul Tarrant. Do you see if I can find the whereabouts of the core? This is total fabrication. I mean, anyone who knows me well. Now Tarrant knows you well and knows who is loyal. Loyalty all around me. You would conspire against me? I will not wait for Luther's death. I will announce myself as major counsel today. I will not wait to begin the great march. The corps will move today. You are mad! Mad. Perhaps it will comfort you to think so. You're an ambitious man, Willoway. Well, here's your chance. You shall become part of history. The birth of the new order. I shall mark the beginning with a lesson. A purge. The traitors among us will be extinguished, and you and your co-conspirators shall be the first. Incarcerate him and seize the others. Oh. <laughs> On Consul Terran's orders, your squad will take the others captive. We obey. Is it going to be? We're almost done. Is my father doing better? He's accepting this transfusion well. That's hope enough for now, Nikki. Council Terrence! The strangers are not in their quarters or the laboratory. Search the hospital. Nikki and Lara will not be far from Luther, and the strangers will not be far from them. This way. Hurry.
foreman have taken Will away prisoner and are coming for us. Well, why? What do we do? It doesn't matter. Tarrant is making his move. Well, we better make our move, too. Yeah, let's get the Will away and split. Good luck, Nikki. Your father's gonna be better now. I know. And good luck to you, my friend. Join the others in the search. I want them. All of them. I have things to do. For me, you'd all be in the stew. And where we are ain't so great. <sighs> Never did they hear a man complain so much. <laughs> Sorry, I doubted you, Jonathan. Well, there have been times when I've doubted myself. We owe you a great deal. Such debts are hard to repay. I think that that smile that I saw on your face when you were with Luther, that was payment far beyond what I deserve. No. But thank you. The next zone lies there. I hope what you seek is not far beyond. Thank you. Stay well and be happy. Fine. 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 Good luck. But, Barry, and I still don't understand. I mean, why did Tarrant want war? Well, Scott, some men have dreams of conquest and of power. That's so dumb. Aristophanes said it best, Scott. Ah, the generals, they are numerous, but not good for much. Mm -hmm. 